This little video is going to show you how to put a floor underneath your shed. So if we click on the architecture tab and then select floor, it has a preset of just this uh, solid piece of floor here. We're going to edit that type. And right now it's set to a default thickness of one foot. We don't need it that thick. So we're going to duplicate this, call it the shed floor. Whoops. And edit that. And what we need to do is we need to have the um, two by six underneath here. So a two by six is going to be the floor joists that run the length of the floor. So I'm going to just check here wood. It's not wood flooring. That's a little bit better surface. So we're going to uh, choose this one. And actually, it's probably up here in my panel because I've done another example using it. So I'm going to select that, click OK. And we want that to be a two by six. So the thickness of a two by six is one and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to make that five and a half inches thick, and that is going to be the substrate material. Uh, let's actually we'll leave it as a structure material. Um, and then the um, other finished material, because we're not really going to put flooring on it, is going to be some sheeting, some wood sheeting. So we'll call that wood also. And we're going to use half inch plywood sheeting for the floor. So leave that as 0.5. Now if we edit this and preview it, then we can see we have our 2x6 and then our half inch sheeting on the top of that. So that should be good to go for this. We click OK. So our default thickness is 6 inches. Now we need to make the boundary for this. We actually want it to go around the outside edge of these walls. You don't want it to be in the middle because then the walls are just kind of floating. So I'm going to choose the rectangle here and I'm going to select the outside corner and I'm going to go to this outside corner and click that and then hit the check mark and now let's take a view of it in our 3D model and you can see we have our floor right here and it's showing up. Now we can see this a little bit more clearly if we do the detail level fine that probably is not going to change much but if we change the uh, uh, box to realistic then it's going to start to show some colors in here. So now you can see that there is, in fact, a wood floor. We do have siding on the outside edge of this. There is this gray gypsum wallboard on the inside. We have our wooden door. We have some nice windows. So that gives you a lot better idea of how the structure is going to look. That should be all you have to do for the floor. 